everyone so for today's video I'll be showing you how I curl my hair I have this request from a friend of mine and she asked me if I can show you guys how I curl my hair so with my long hair like this I it takes me about 30 to 45 minutes to curl my hair but it is because when um, how do I explain it it's like when I blow dry my hair and my hair is thicker and it takes me longer to curl my hair because it feels like it's freezy and puffy with all those volume but with this hair over here that I have like you know my hair like that right now this is was um, air dried yesterday I took a shower yesterday you know I only um, wash my hair two to three times a week I'm actually gonna try to do it every other day because it's kind of damaging my scalp so um, this one is just air dried from yesterday so my hair is naturally straight so um, for my hair I actually use this one is the Garnier for T style flat iron perfection I've been using this for quite some time now and it's not that um, I don't use um, what you call that I don't use any hairspray after I curl my hair but this one holds it and it how it holds my curl for I don't know how long maybe four or five days until I wash my hair and my hair my hair will still be curl it's not like as curled but it's more like a naturally wavy hair is what my hair would look like after you know four or five days and also I used this one to curl my hair I don't know which brand it is but I've had this for a long time now it was given to me my by, by my mom and I don't use the one with a clamp I use uh, the this one um, curling iron and I use I think this one is half an inch so yeah this is what I use and it's really easy I'll show you how I comb my hair it's not that it I don't know I don't do it the usual way like other people does it but this one works for me so here we go let's head on to the video. so first things first this is what I do I squirt this one in my hair so I, okay what I do first actually is I part my hair in half and then I will squirt this one just like that not like too much and it actually smells pretty good it smells like I don't know it smells like like fruit duh it said for teas so there and then I will just comb it it's like so just so it spreads so I kind of lower down the camera so you guys can see me a little better but anyways here's this one right here so this is the curling one so I just grab this okay I do not use the gloves and or anything to kind of protect my hands I've been doing this for so long but if you are new please wear those gloves one so it doesn't burn you but this one I'm used to it and I'm sorry if I'm not using them don't bash me that's just all you gotta do is like this so I'm timing myself for 20 seconds Dun, 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 dun. so I'm doing it inwards and then you just kind of hold it in a little bit so don't touch it just like that and then you grab a little piece again so here's a trick here's an advice if you guys want your curls to be to hold longer you guys got to do it um, little by um, little thing by time like how do I say it? Little piece at a time of your hair. If you guys want it to be to not last as long, you guys can do it like um like right here, I'll show you. It's kinda so if you want it to be this thick, this is not gonna hold it as long. Okay? This thick of a hair is not gonna hold it as long. But if you cut that in half and just have this, it will hold it longer because it's a thinner like it's like a less hair and it when you curl it see so this one is actually thick still you guys I could have like done it maybe half of this one so instead of the 20 seconds when I hold this in I will hold it for 30 seconds so yeah that's how I do it on this side over here so my left side somehow is is not as I don't know like it's not as much as hair as my right side so it's easier for me to do it on the left side 
probably because my part is on um, in the mid in the side over here so less hair of course is going to be on my left side so there you go so when you do it see look I'll compare this one see how the curl of this hair is really like tight it's really like nice and curl but when I did it with a thicker one it's somewhat loose right so that's why with the, the thicker the hair that you're gonna curl it the looser it will be so you guys will have to um, to kind of cut it so this one I will repeat it okay so I just put my hair like that I don't I don't divide it like the others I just don't that's just me so I don't divide it like you know some other people will like um, divide it into like you know into like a half up do and then they will do half a bit at a time little at a time but me I just have my hair down I don't put it up I don't do anything so that's just how I do it so this one I'll do for another like 15 seconds just so it's tighter so this way it will hold it longer like your curl by tomorrow else my hair will still be like this like maybe not as tight as it was but still be like this so and then don't curl up to the end kind of leave about an inch or two just so it looks uh, much better like um, I'll show you guys it's kind of hard to explain but yeah there's that so there you go that's some of my hair so you can see see how long my hair was and then see when it's curl but later on we will fix it so of course your hair gets shorter when it's curled <laughs> then you just keep going you just keep doing it like this so I just hold it in like this earlier it was kind of upwards it depends on what part of my hair I'm curling but since we're getting getting towards the middle and the back I am doing it like this so like um, what do you call this Hor um, horizontal vertical horizontal so there we go and also if you guys as you guys can tell I just cut my bangs um, cut my bangs not too long ago about three weeks now and it's long again like I chopped five inches on my hair and then I had the, um, the bangs and I was going for the side swipe again but I was like you know what I wanted something different so I did the straight this time see how much hair I am lo I'm leaving that I'm holding so yeah all right I will finish this side and I will be right back okay for this side I will grab this one little one on this side right here and then it goes like this it's still inwards see so that's just how I curl it's inwards keep going inwards inwards so do 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 so on this side since I have long um, a lot of hair on this side I it I have to curl it um, longer we should have timed it huh to see how long it takes to curl my hair but I already know that it takes me about 30 to 45 minutes sometimes longer so see there's that all right everyone so this is the finished product I will turn around just so you guys can see what it looks like in the back So as the days goes by, my hair gets looser and looser and looser. Um, the more I comb it and everything like that, but it gets more natural. So I think maybe later on today, it's actually, what time is it? It's 5.12, so maybe later on today around 8 or 9, I will take a little peek of how my hair would look like after about 4 hours. But yeah, I don't put any hairspray in it to hold it. Um, this product right here works really well. Um, it holds it. It actually has a flexible hold of one, but I think this holds my hair longer than that. And this one has a argan oil with Morocco, and it's sleek. And yeah, as you can see, I've 
use a lot of it it's really it's almost gone but this is what I, I love this one and yeah um, I hope I gave you guys some tips of how to curl hair and how it lasts so yeah um, just the longer the more hair you put on the curling one um, the the it's like it's gonna look more natural it's not gonna um, it's gonna be curl but it's not gonna hold as fast but if you do your hair like curl it like little at a time you know like you can feel it it's not like you know I don't know like if it said half an inch maybe do like a half an inch of of much of a hair or something like that if it's kind of like um it's really you can feel it if you know like sometimes when you put your hair in a ponytail if it's like um it's thick you kind of want it to be like really really thin not too thin but the thinner it is the less time you're gonna have to curl your hair so that's just a trip um tips right there the thicker the hair that you put in a curling one the longer it will take for it to curl because it has a lot of hair to heat up it has a lot of hair to curl but the less it is the less time also but it does take longer when you do it but little by little than the more um like the more hair that you put in a curling one but trust me it will hold la um, longer it, it, your curl will last and you know i mean i know in the humid part of the like some countries and like the humid part of america of course your hair is um it won't hold as much but you can always kind of do that's when you do the thick ones so it doesn't hold but you do the thick ones and then it'll go again so you kind of just do it so yeah i hope you guys enjoy watching my video um please comment down below of what else you guys feel like i should do and um yeah pl um, please don't forget to like share and subscribe maraming salamat bye bye Annyeong! all right guys so this is what my hair looks like after a few hours now it's already 8.05 and I got done curling my hair about a little after 5 o'clock so for three hours this is what it looks like so the reason why I want that half an inch um, left out or about an inch is because if you look over here it's kind of like curled down too and that's really nice so this is what it looks like it's kind of more loose now it's not as tight and there you go so there you go guys. Alright, hello everyone. So today is the next day um, after I curl my, um, my hair. So today it's more loose but still curl. And it holds really well with that Garnier Fatigue's um, like a flat iron heat protector, whatever that is. So yeah, this is what it looks like. So tomorrow it'll be like this again, kind of like a little looser. But yeah, so that's what my curl, so my curl holds about like five days until I wash it. So yeah.